Welcome to another Gibbs Cam video. Today we're going to show you how to deburr a part using a chamfer tool. As you can see I have a 5 axis part here. I just want to run a deburr around the corner here but we're going to give it a little extra um, chamfer on here just so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see it's kind of a twisted part here and we want to run this on our 5 axis machine and I don't want to surface even if I drew chamfers around here, I don't want to just surface that. That'll take a long time. We just want to run a standard chamfer uh, mill such as this. Half inch diameter, uh, 90 degrees on the angle, so 45 here and a little bit of flat on the front here. So I already have my part here and uh, let me turn on my geometry. And I extracted the geometry off the top surface there. And what I have here is orientation lines. Now you can draw those freehand or you can make them exact any way you'd like to do them. But what this is telling the tool, bring it up here, is that when it gets to this point, you want the tool parallel with this line. And as it transitions around the corner, parallel with this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and so forth. So if I open up my process here, we're just doing a general um, five axis tool path, XY plane, surface paths. Now we're not actually clicking on the solid to do any calculation. This time we are using wireframe. You can see the drop down here, a lot of choices here. We're just using wireframe, so we're just uh, basically running this off of geometry. We're doing five axis profiling. Can see here and it, and it asks us for the drive curves so I'm going to click on this and I click on my drive curve so this is the drive curve that's curve that's going around the part and then I'm going to choose my orientation lines so from here I'm going to select my orientation lines we'll start here We're leaving these uh, off on purpose for now. Click OK. And I'm going to offset the tool by about 80 thousandths because I don't want to cut on the tip of the tool. I want it kind of a little bit away from it. Tool axis control, 5 axis, be relative to cutting direction. And I'm going to start out at 180 so I want the tool on the top side of the part. Don't need to do gouge checking because uh, we're not really clicking on the solid here on this part. Link, use lead in, lead out. And you can adjust the uh, tangential arc, how you want to arc in and arc off. I chose the tangential arc and I did a flip so it comes on the top side as you'll see when we run the tool path. Nothing in roughing. But on the uh, utility, I'm going to tell it I want to force it into the part by a negative hundred thousandths there. So it should give me a nice hundred thousandths uh, chamfer on there. So let's click on do it. You can see I have my tool path already. So let's run the rendering on here. Just slow it down a bit. There's my arc in. Speed it up a little bit. Now as you can see, it got a little heavy right here transitions around the corner goes to the opposite side on here uh, you can see it uh, kind of hit the flat there a little bit on there goes around and back we're finished and arc off. So I kind of want to fix these two areas that I don't like. Too heavy there. Kind of plunges into the material there. So let's turn off our rendering. And as you can see I drew two more uh, orientation lines here. I drew this one about uh, almost parallel, well almost perpendicular with this arc here and the same one over here. So let's use those as transition lines. And you can draw these any way you want. 
Uh, they don't have to be exact or anything. They just kind of need to be where you want the tool oriented when it gets to that point. And you could put as many as you want uh, around here if you want to fine tune it. We're, we're just going to do these two here. So let's bring back our process here. Surface paths. Orientation lines. Let's add in the last two here. So just hold control down. These two. Click OK. Rerun the toolpath. Now let's take a look and see how we did. Looks a lot nicer. Arc off. You can see nice clean toolpath there. Chamfer looks pretty good on that side as well. So this is a real easy way just to do um, chamfering on your part in five axis. So if you have a lot of chamfers, chamfers to do uh, and you want to do it right on the machine, this is the way to do it. Thanks for watching.